Tainted Scarecrow. Alright everybody, just want to show you these uh, Irish Setter Ridgehawk boots. This is the 3801 series. As you can see here, 400 gram, the 3802 is a thousand gram insulation, and I believe the mossy oak pattern, this is the real tree pattern. Um, they consider this quote unquote armored leather. I don't know. And it's got the, the rubberized toe. Pretty aggressive tread on them. Not as aggressive as some, but. And then you can see they just have basically your quick lace and then up the sides. Um, they are Gore-Tex. There's the interior of the boot. There's a pull strap on the back and then a heel catch if you're trying to take them off so you don't tear up the back of the heel. Um, and then they have a cemented lower. But uh, I use these for uh, deer hunting and uh, also turkey hunting. Turkey hunting was the main reason I got them. But uh, the fit overall is uh, pretty decent. Like I said, these are men's 11. I actually wear a men's 11 shoe. You could probably go a half size up if you want to layer heavy underneath. Like I said, uh, 400 gram insulation. Uh, it's pretty light. I got them for early turkey. Um, and they hold up really well uh, so far. I've used them. Uh, I guess this will be my second turkey season coming up, but uh, I used them during deer season. And my feet did get a little cold. The only thing I had on with them during uh, deer season was wore a pair of the Under Armour Cold Gear light boot sock. If you go with a heavier boot, the heavier boot sock, it might be a little bit better. Or if you doubled up, there is room that you would be able to wear an extra pair of socks inside, or just a really heavy single pair. Uh, the construction seems like it's fairly good on them. I haven't noticed any pulled seams or stitching out of the inside. Now, the reason I went with Irish Setters is because um, I had heard that they were U.S. made, um, but I didn't realize it until I went to purchase these that these were actually Chinese made. Um, the Irish Setters made by Red Wing, as most of you may or may not know, but uh, they have two divisions. There's a U.S. division and a Chinese division. I would have thought that whenever I checked the price on these that they would have been the U.S. made ones, but they aren't. Uh, they retail, I believe the retail listing for the 3802, which is a thousand gram insulation, was around 189 bucks. And then I think these ones were going for around 160 but I was able to find these on Zappos with free shipping and everything for 99 bucks when I got them. Like I said, that was a little over a year ago. And uh, I just looked it up right here before I did the review. Just wanted to get a couple uh, things straightened out before I did the video for you guys. And they were going for right around the 150 The 1,000 gram ones were going around the $200 range. So uh, pretty salty compared to you know maybe some other boots. But uh, if you can find them on sale, I'd definitely say they're worth getting. I mean, I like them all in all but you know there's a lot of boots you can get for that higher price range that you can look at but uh, like I said I can't complain with these they're a nice boot they look good feel good it feels like you're wearing a sneaker basically whenever you wear them I haven't had any trouble with blisters anything like that so I just wanted to share that with you uh, the Irish Setter uh, Ridgehawk so that's all for now